Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. So today is Tuesday and I'm uploading a video. Well, surprise, surprise, we are doing a surprise video for Planet Zoo. And today it will be the final episode of the Australia Zoo where we're actually building a habitat and coming on Sunday will be our zoo tour in which I will pretend to be a tour guide, hopefully if I remember and I managed to do that and I will give you guys a tour of the actual zoo so we will go in depth of all the habitats I will show you all the routes there is a lot of tweaking that is going to be done and I will make sure that the entire zoo and surroundings will look amazing and even if I say so myself like um, obviously um, I was so excited that after I finished this habitat I already did the zoo tour and I already filmed that so that is ready to be uploaded on Sunday and even if I say so myself it is quite good it's my first zoo tour ever I've never done something like that and I'm absolutely thrilled I'm so excited I'm so happy to share with you guys so but like um, first of all like before we can do that um, we're gonna finish this habitat so this will be our final animal that we are adding to our Australia Zoo and this animal is the Komodo dragon as you probably already like saw if you looked at the, thumb the thumbnail and read if you obviously read the title which you did because you clicked on this video so I'm excited about it it is actually um, the Komodo dragon I feel like it's a very Australian animal even though I think technically it doesn't live there I'm not sure I didn't do my research for this episode but shh, don't tell anyone so we are trying to make the best of it. Like I saw the animal and I was like, Komodo dragon? That needs to be in my Australia Zoo. That is going to be the final animal. So we are just making this rock work like amazing. So the Komodo dragon, it doesn't need like a lot of vegetation, but it does need some. And I didn't feel like it was enough to just put some in its habitats. I wanted to make it look overall amazing. So here we are. We are making the outside of the habitat look amazing first because that's what I've learned from doing zoos and I will share this as a pro tip to you guys before you start building the interior of a habitat please finish the exterior like finish the surroundings of the habitat finish the pathing make sure the pathing is pretty because you will not do that once you finish the habitat trust me on that you're gonna get bored because you're like man I already did this entire habitat now I need to do the outside I don't think so We've all been there, we all know it. We're just gonna deal with it. Um, do the outside first and then move over to the inside. Okay, that's the lesson that we have learned from this. So right now, uh, we finished with the exterior for now. Um, like, I'm, I'm immediately contradicting myself, but let's ignore that. So at the end of this video, we are going to come back to the um, like area opposite of the habitat because I forgot to do that. But you know what? Uh, do as I say, not as I act. I feel, I feel like that's the saying. So right now we are making this little water area for the Komodo dragons. We're just gonna make it a little bit of a pond with some rocks and some vegeta vegetation. Wow. Sorry, I am wanting to talk way too fast. So then I start tripping over my words and I start stuttering again. So I will try to talk slower. I'm gonna find my Zen mode, but I'm just really excited. But I need to talk slower because otherwise you guys can't understand me. So, talking slower, Nim. Learn it. Learn. Let's see what we're doing. I actually, I just finished editing this video. I finally did a voiceover and the editing on the same day. So that is nice as well. Like, that, that's the first, to be honest. Um, as you can see, like, the Komodo dragon, like, the space, it's just about. So when we start adding enrichment items... It actually uh, takes away for some of the space and the Komodo dragon actually becomes a little bit helpless for space because it can't, like it doesn't have enough space anymore. So that was kind of problematic. But we simply managed to like remove one single cacti and it will be done. I also really like the shelter place. It's really natural and I love the way it looks. Also with all the enrichment items, I'm just an absolute fan of it. And I was actually quite surprised that the Komodo dragon wasn't able to escape through the fencing. I was quite surprised by it because actually I thought that they might, like, would be able to escape. So, very pleasantly surprised about that. I'm not sure if the babies can escape or not because in the meantime they did have, like, babies. I'm not sure if they can go through the fencing. They probably can. 
but oh well, uh, we'll fix that when we get to that. So here you see that the entire habitat, habitat is already done in what the Komodo dragon, it's a small animal, it doesn't need a lot of space, so we are just making sure that the um, education boards are fine. And then I remembered, I actually forgot to put any of the information boards with the um, ostrich, like I forgot to turn those on, so we are going to go back to the ostriches in a minute. Um, but first we are making sure that this area looks nice, so we just copy pasted some rocks to make it look like one big hole. And now we are adding some vegetation on it, and I absolutely love the way this turns out. I mean, I just love it. Absolutely love it. Also with the trees that we're adding, it makes it look like it is really part of the zoo and not just this random area in the back of the zoo. Like it's really, it belongs there. I'm also quite surprised the way that this zoo looks from the, uh, like the above view. With all the um, with the trees, it just looks like this big green blob, and I'm actually really happy about it. I like the way that it looks. So here you can see me putting the ostrich education on because I totally forgot that. But we're not going to talk about it. Just hush, shh, don't tell anyone. And if you haven't already seen the uh, ostrich habitat, make sure you check out the playlist because it was actually uploaded last Sunday, and it is quite a good habitat. And while you're at it continue looking at the rest of the uh, wood uh, woodland zoo, the Australia zoo. And when you're done with the Australia zoo, why not have a look at the woodland zoo? It's on my channel as well. And I believe it will be linked down below if I remember. And it is actually um, quite happy. So we are finished with the uh, Australia zoo and the zoo tour will be on Sunday. We are coming reasonably close to finishing the woodland zoo as well. And after that, we'll be making a rainforest zoo and we'll be starting from scratch but before we do any of that, guys, we need to round up this project. So let's go into the cinematics, enjoy that, and I hope to see you on the next episode. <laughs> Bye, guys.